Judith Baca, an American Chicana artist, born on September 20th, 1946. Baca is a painter and a muralist. Baca's public art reflects on women, youth, the elderly, and even immigrant communities. Baca was raised by her grandmother since her mother was always busy at work. Baca's father, Valentino Marcia, was not a part of her family. Hortensia Baca, Judith's mother, was the main supporter of her family. During the year of 1952, Baca was six years old. Her mother married Clarence Ferrari, and they all moved to Bacoima, California. This change was very difficult for Judith because her grandmother and aunt stayed behind. Spanish was only spoken in a new household. Judith was also placed in a school where English was a primary language. Although the language was a struggle, her teacher allowed her to paint while others were learning. After painting in class, Baca became interested in art, which she would later turn her interest in painting into a passion and a career. But before getting into the meaning behind this artwork, here are some basic details about it. Las Tres Marias is a colored pencil on paper mounted on panel. Its dimensions is 60 inches by 50 inches. Today it's part of Smithsonian American Art Museum in Washington, D.C. The artwork has three different sections. Each section has two different women except the middle section. The middle section is a mirror. Going back to the left panel, the woman has a pale face with long black hair. The background is white with the edges of the border red. The woman has navy blue baggy clothes on with navy blue shoes. On the right panel, there is a girl with a white shirt, navy blue skirt, and red sandals. The girl has curly, short hair with a cigarette in her mouth, leaning on her right side of the body. Look at the left panel and right of the artwork. Baca uses color. You can see that achromatic colors are being used, like the background as well as her shirt on the right panel. Primary color was used like the color red. If you look closely to the left side, you can see the color red border on the artwork. If you look closely, the woman on the right panel also has red sandals, red belt, and a red scarf. Shade colors are being used like the dark blue. You can see in the middle panel, which is the mirror, the clothing of the two women are wearing from the left and right. Space is being used in the artwork. The first and third panel background is full of positive space and the mirror is full of negative space because nothing is actually occupying it. Light is also used in the artwork. If you look closely to the woman with the skirt on, your, on the right panel, there is different shading from her left and right leg. This artwork is asymmetrical balance because the painting is divided into three halves. If it's taken apart into three individual sides, all three different sides would be different but are visually balanced. The artwork has emphasis. The focal point is the left and right panel of the two different ways women are shown to see themselves because the two images catches the viewer's eyes before anything else. You could see the contrast from the two different women. You could see how differently the women are dressed. The one on the left panel has on baggy clothes like if she was dressed up like a man versus the one on the right panel the girl has a skirt and a fitted shirt like a woman would wear with their clothes. In California, Baca received her bachelor's in 1967 and a master's in 1980. 
She founded the first city of Los Angeles mural program. You can see the artwork she did called Absolutely Chicana that she did in California. She also did the Great Wall in California. Now, imagine you are Judith Maka. It is 1950 and you live in a household with all women. You live with your mother, grandmother, and two aunts. You grew up without a father. Judith Baca uses iconography. In the artwork, Las Tres Marias, there is a red velvet exterior tucked and rolled to resemble a low rider car, which is the border of the mirror of the artwork, which is red. The left panel is described as a pachuca. They were seen as women that wore baggy clothes on top of their dresses. They were often seen by their men on the side of the streets. On this right panel, it describes as a chola, sisters or wives of gangbangers in California. Men wore baggy clothes. Women were nicely dressed. And they would fight anyone who disrespected their gang, also known as their family. In my artwork, I gathered five people to describe what bothers them. I chose them to describe what they went through because Judith Baca inspired me to let people express themselves and let it be noticed out to the public. I then drew what the five people described into one artwork. I then put the lipstick and hammer together because gender equality is not a woman's issue. This goes back to the girl who told me that she was bothered because she couldn't be taken seriously working as a hammer construction because that was a men's job. Then I met this girl who described me lips. When I thought about lips, I thought about girls that are too scared to speak up when they go through things because society makes them feel like it's their fault. I then put plus signs and minus signs and equal signs with the girls on the left side and the right side because no matter who has more and who has less, everyone is equal at the end. Then there's a girl on the left, nicely dressed, makeup on, so perfectly. You could tell she's shy, but she has to wear makeup to fit in in society. And on the right, there's a girl dressed like a guy. They mistaken her for a boy. They think she doesn't know how to play sports because she's a girl.